Hey there, my name is Chase Murphy, and I'm a senior ConnectWise consultant at Proval Tech. And today I wanted to go over tracking down some noise so that you can easily get it removed from the environment. So let's get into it. In this case, we've found a ticket uh, in the service boards called testing, and we know that we don't need it anymore. It's 141 days old, it's resolved, and we've had no other instances of it, so we can pretty much get rid of it. Uh, so in this case, we can open up the monitor, and from here, we can either find the machine that it's coming from and go and track it back on the machine, or an easier method is actually just looking at the monitor ID. You can see here, it's uh, as long as it's the default message, it'll show the name of the monitor, monitor ID, a name about the information about the machine, and then some of the uh, result that's come through from this. So in this case, we can just go hunt down monitor 101319. To do that, we'll head into automate, go to automation, monitors and this is a remote monitor in this case so we'll go to system monitors and we'll search for our monitor and you can see it comes back with just the one result and we can see it's applied to the same machine that we were mentioning earlier when you open up that monitor then you can start assessing if this monitor is still required you can check the status you can see where where it's applied as well um, you can see if, what alerting is happening and you can check the configuration. In this case, this was a remote PowerShell monitor. It looks like we were testing. Um, it was looking for some sort of path and then looking to see what the status equals and then comparing here. So it looks like this is just a test monitor that we didn't end up using. So it's probably safe to delete or stop alerting. Uh, to prevent it from alerting, you can head to the alerting tab and simply change the alert template to either default do nothing or to not selected. Either one of those will stop alerting right away. Otherwise, if you don't need the monitor at all and you want to delete it, you can simply head back to the system monitors, right click on the monitor, go to the monitors pop out and select delete monitor. You'll then get a confirmation prompt if you want to remove the monitor or not. In this case, just for testing purposes, I'm going to leave this. So we're going to mark no, but that's one way to track down a monitor and remove any noise coming from it if you don't want to have to deal with that noise anymore. Uh, so thanks for watching. We try to post a new video every week to share our knowledge and automate. To learn more about what we do, please visit provaltech.com. There should be a link in the video description below. Thank you.